8.2 Allied Health Capstone Dosage Calculations This section will help you determine if a prescription is safe, calculate the correct dosage amount to administer. Determine if a prescription is safe. Before giving medication to patients, two important questions must be answered. Is the prescribed dose safe? And two, what volume of medication must be given? Failure to answer either question accurately can result in illness or even death of a patient. Because these questions are so important, many nursing programs have a gateway exam where students need to score 100% on the exam to pass the course. How to read the usual dose on a prescription bottle. So every label, every medication label, and that's what we've got here is we've got a medication label here. Every medication label will have a usual dose listed on the medication label. Um, and they tell you, in this case, this one has a usual dose for children, which is 20 milligrams per kilogram per day. Uh, adults, 375 milligrams two times per day. So this usual dose is a guideline that tells us, you know, what is usually given and what is usually our safe range of medication to give. So the usual dose is a rate that indicates the appropriate dose for a patient. The bottle's usual dose for a child, in this case, 20 milligrams per one kilogram, indicates that the child should receive 20 milligrams times their weight in kilograms each day. Let's take a look at an example now that will show us how to use the usual dose. Example one. A prescription for a 15 kilogram child reads Aclor, Mefaclor, so this is the brand name, this is the actual drug name there, 300 milligrams twice daily. Should the drug be given at this dose? Is it supported by the instructions on the drug label? All right, let's see. A prescription for a 15 kilogram child reads 300 milligrams twice daily. Well, let's use the usual dose here and figure out what a 15 kilogram child would normally get under the usual conditions. So let's see, 20 milligrams, 20 milligrams per kilogram. So let's write that down because that is a rate. So we got 20 milligrams per one kilogram. And we want to see now our 15 kilogram child. So we're going to have 15 kilograms. How many milligrams, according to the usual dose rate right here, this child should get. So let's see, we'd uh, cross multiply and we'd get x equals 20 times 15. And that would give us 300 milligrams. Now let's go back to the usual dose here and see. 20 milligrams per kilogram per day in two divided doses. So 20 milligrams per kilogram a day in two divided doses. So we would split this dose up, okay? So what we would normally do is we'd take this drug according to the usual one and split this up into divided doses. So maybe we would give 150 milligrams one time and 150 milligrams a second time in a day. Now, the prescription that we have up here is that this 15 kilogram child should be getting 300 milligrams twice daily. Uh, 300 milligrams twice daily, that is way over the rate. In fact, that's twice the amount we're supposed to give. So we would say, no, consult a doctor before giving the medication. Go ahead and pause your video player now and answer practice question two. All right, practice two. A prescription for myoped, erythromycin, for a five kilogram child reads 300 milligrams daily in divided doses. So that means we're gonna take 300 milligrams and divide it up. Should the drug be given at this dose? Is it supported by the instructions on the drug label? All right, let's see. So the usual dose, so we have a range here on this one. So we can give anywhere between 33 and 50 milligrams per kilogram per day in divided doses. So let's see, our five kilogram child. So let's start on the low side here, which is this 33 milligrams per one kilogram, and figure out what that would look like for our five kilogram child. So this is the low range. We'll do the high range in just a second here. So it looks like we're gonna again get uh, x equals 
33 times 5. Let's see, 33 times 5 would give us 165 milligrams. So on the low side of things, we can get 165 milligrams, and then we're going to divide that up because it says in divided doses. So we're going to, here's the low side of things. We'll divide that up. Let's talk about the high side of things now. So we could give up to 50 milligrams per kilogram in our range. And so let's see what that looks like for our five kilogram child. So it looks like we'll get X equals five times 50. So five times 50 is gonna give us 250 milligrams, again, in divided doses. So here's our range. For this five kilogram child, we wanna have somewhere between 165 and 200 milligrams per day in divided doses. We, the prescription here is reading 300 milligrams in divided doses, so that is too high for our child here. So we would say no, consult doctor first before giving this medication. Calculate the correct dosage amount to administer. After determining that a prescription is safe, the correct amount of medicine must be given. If the medicine is in liquid form, only part of that liquid form is actual drug. The drug concentration is a rate that indicates the amount of actual drug in a volume of medicine. The drug concentration can be found on the medication label. So how to read a drug concentration on a prescription medication label. So usually, right underneath the name of the, the drug, this is the brand name and this is the actual drug here, is given the drug concentration. And so this one says 300 milligrams per five milliliters. So the drug concentration is a rate that indicates the amount of drug in a volume of medicine. Once we know the drug concentration, we can write a proportion to find the actual volume of medicine that must be given to the patient. Let's take a look at an example here to see how we use the drug concentration. Example three, a prescription for an adult reads Achlor, 370 milligrams twice daily. All right, let's see if this is safe. So 375 milligrams twice daily for an adult. And let's see, it says an adult, 370 milligrams two times per day. Perfect. So this is safe. So this checks. Yes, it's safe. We want to write that down. So yes, this thing is safe. Now let's figure out how much we need to give. So we're going to use the drug concentration. So 300 milligrams in five milliliters of medicine. So this is the actual drug and this in this volume of medicine. And so over here, we want to give... 375 milligrams in one of these doses. So we go 375 milligrams, and we want to know how many then milliliters to administer. So notice we're lining this up again, milligrams to milligrams, milliliters to milliliters. So we use cross multiplication here. It looks like 300x is going to equal 5 times 375. So we'd multiply 5 times 375 and then divide by 300 to get this answer. So we're going to need to give 6.25 milliliters to give this 375 milligrams of actual drug. All right. Now what we want to do is we want to shade that amount on the correct syringe down here. So 6.25 milliliters. We want to choose the smallest uh, syringe that we can to get the job done. Obviously, this one here is too big too small so it's this guy right here in the middle so we want to do 6.25 and it looks like in between here these are going by two so two four six eight ten yep so we want to go 6.2 and then just a little bit more than two five so we'd go 6.2 just a little bit more than that that's what we want to fill the syringe to Go ahead now and pause your video player and answer practice question four. When you're done, hit play to see how you did. Practice four. A prescription calls for an adult reads uh, cefazolin, 300 milligrams, three times daily. Let's show that this is going to be safe. All right, let's look at our usual dose here. 
It's going to tell us whether this thing's going to be safe or not. So this has a big range, anywhere from 250 milligrams to one gram every six to eight hours. So that means every six to eight hours, we can give this three or four times in a day. So we could give up to four grams of medication. So on the top high end here, let's see. Let's look at the low side of things since we have a range here. High side of things, we could give up to four grams of this medication. On the low side, 250 milligrams uh, three times a day. Three times a day would be 750 milligrams. So we need to fall, if this is going to be safe, our medication needs to fall somewhere between this. Uh, 300 milligrams three times daily, that's 900 milligrams. And that falls right in between our low and our high. So yes, to say yes, this is safe. Okay, now we want to figure out how much medicine to give. So we're giving one of these shots here, 300 milligrams. That's what we want to give. And here is our drug concentration, 225 milligrams per ml. And this means per one milliliter. So let's see here. So we'd have 225 milligrams per one milliliter. And we want to give 300 milligrams and we don't know how many milliliters that is, but we're about to find out. So it looks like we're going to take uh, x times 225. So 225 x equals on the other side 300. So it looks like we're just going to divide 300 by 225. And that's going to give us 1.3 repeating. And so I would say probably, you know, 1.3, if we round that accurately, 1.3 milliliters is what we want to give to give this amount of medication. So let's come down here to our syringes now. We want to give 1.3 there. So too small here, only goes up to one milliliter. Too big here, so we want this one in the middle, 1.3 milliliters. And you can see here on this syringe, we're going by increments of one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we need one point one, two, three. So we'd want to shade just like that. Fill the syringe right there. Go ahead and pause your video player now and answer practice question five. When you're done, hit play to see how you did. A prescription for a 23 kilogram child reads 500 milligrams twice daily. Myopet. All right, let's see if this thing is safe. A uh, child reads 500 milligrams twice daily. So they're given 1,000 milligrams here. So 1,000 milligrams. Okay, so let's go to the usual dose here and see if this is safe. So on the low side of things, we can do 33 milligrams per one kilogram. And let's see, our child is weighing 23 kilograms. So we're putting that down here and we don't know how many milligrams. So we solve this proportion, it looks like we're gonna take uh, just 23 times 33. So on the low side of things, we could give 759 milligrams. Um, on the high side, we're gonna do 50 milligrams per one kilogram, X milligrams over, again, our 23 kilogram child. And here it looks like we're going to take 23 times 50. And so we can give 1,150 milligrams. So ours is falling right in between there, right in between the low and the high. So we'd say yes. Okay, so now let's figure out. So now let's figure out how much medication to give for one of these doses. So we've got 500 milligrams twice daily. So we just want to figure out how much to, how much medicine to give to get 500 milligrams of actual drug. So we come down here. Here's our drug concentration. 200 milligrams per five milliliters. We're trying to give 500 milligrams and we want to know how many milliliters that is. So it looks like we're going to take 5 times 500 and then divide by 200. So 500 
times 5 divided by 200. Looks like we're going to give 12.5 milliliters. Let's look at our syringes to give 12.5. It looks like we're going to have to use the largest syringe here. And so let's see what these are between here. So it looks like 10. It looks like we're going to my 2s. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yep. So we want to give 12 and a half. So here is 12. If I went halfway between here, we'd be at 13. So I want to go a little bit short of that. And that's how much we would want to shade on the syringe. Okay, that's the end of the video. You're ready to go ahead and start the exercises for 8.2.